Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Take One with me, Silver Filter. And for this week, we're not going to be covering a music related uh a music related topic, but instead I want to discuss to you something more uh, a little bit technical, but it will uh, greatly speed up your workflow hopefully. And I hope that uh you know, it can help you set up and customize your your reason record space for your productions now if you go to record and you go to file you can create a new you can make a new song uh with a default setting with the you know when it opens up it's set up with your with your preference uh default preferred default uh, workspace however you can also create one from templates as you can see here uh, I have some of the default ones that came with record but I also have some new ones that I that you can easily download from the propeller heads website and for me I just have this one dance template that I make uh, that I made for uh, for my own now, our lesson for today is how to make one for yourself so that you can uh, have one template that you can uh, access whenever you, you're inspired to do a certain type of track, for example. For example, uh, let's say you're, you're, you're in the mood to make a dance tune and you have a particular setup for a particular style. So you can access that or, for example, you're into... Uh, for for lack of a better example, like this one, you're into ambient music, and you have a different set of uh, synths that you want to use with uh, doing that particular style. At least it makes things quicker for you because you can access those instantly, since you already created a template from that. So, what we do now, for example. Uh, this is just a basic example. Uh, let's say I want uh, like four send defects, like a, two reverbs. I'm sorry. Um, let's say two reverbs and a delay and perhaps a scream. A unit now this is just for examples sake okay so let's say one is hall and another is plate <clears throat> then our delays on you know four steps then for you just want to uh, warm up the your track maybe yeah let's say warmer and then um, you want uh, your particular template to have a redrum or me perhaps uh, one of each you know, Thor subtractor Maelstrom okay I won't I won't fill this up anymore and so the simple thing is you just have to save it as a template. Now, where do you access your template? Oh, let's say save. Now, usually, uh, we we just go to. We th we think of the template songs to be in a particular application folder. Now, before I, what I did was I went to the applications folder in my hard disk, and then I went to. To my record folder okay and of course it's not there and then I thought oh yeah it's in, in library application support okay so we had to propeller head software now we're faced another with a no folder uh, appearance of your templates so now my mistake was because if you google this you won't be able to find also how to access your template folder 
My mistake was I knew that it was an application support. Thing is, I needed to go to my my own account and go to that application support. So I had to go to that library which had the application support there and then we we go to propeller head and then we are presented now with re with more folders and one is for record and we can now see our template songs here so now we can just save one as something or replace something or you know create something new entirely from the template that we planned on that we created and after you save that, so <clears throat> let's just say uh, tutorial there. And then you save that as a tutorial template. Okay, so, so now once you go to new from template, we can easily access that tutorial template. So for example, let's say we close this file and then we create new create a new uh, song and just click on tutorial and we wait for the server to run and there you go the one we made earlier is made for you and you don't have to load each instrument once again, you don't have to configure your sense again. Everything's there, and all you have to do is make music. So there, I hope you you picked up a thing or two from from this week's tutorial, and I hope uh, you tune in uh, next week for another episode of Take One. And I'm hoping to um feature some in some upcoming interviews of local electro electronic artists so uh, do subscribe and stick around and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial this week thank you very much and god bless